low internet al uh, rescue and uh, today i wanted to show you my Mega Man manga collection well this is precisely rockman x by mr is his name here well his name is probably here i just can't read it this is by takabisa kirio Eto, um <clears throat> um I don't even know where to begin. Well, you can see there is 13 volumes. I am missing number 10. This is number 9. I don't have number 10. But that's fine. Because I do happen to have the... Oh, by the way, this is the Japanese version, as you can clearly see. Um, but I do happen to also have the corresponding English version of each one of these comics and actually I have the complete English collection of the um, of these comics sorry that's number eight so this is number one and it's corresponding uh, English version somehow they decided to keep the uh, anti-warrior title thing instead of uh, you know Mega Man exit like the actual video game um one interesting thing about this is that it claims that this was the inspiration for the hit anime series. I hope you can see it right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's the inspiration for the hit anime series. Um, I find that to be debatable at the very least. Uh, according to what I was able to gather, um, this manga started to be published on 2002, which is the same year the anime came out um i'm not exactly sure which one came first but yeah if the anime came out in the same year chances are it was being in production long before it aired so i don't think this could have been the inspiration for the for the anime i don't know for sure but that's that's the impression that i get um one more thing if you're gonna be selling these things on amazon or ebay or wherever Please, please, don't, don't, no, just don't do this, because now I can't take, take this thing off unless I ruin the whole thing, so please, just put your things inside the plastic stuff like this, and then slap this stupid sticker on top of it, so that it doesn't ruin the the actual material that you're selling. Anyways, I was going to show you these things, and so this is volume one. Japanese versus English, and uh, where is volume two? Volume two, Japanese versus English. Mm, you actually see this? Sorry, I have a weird setup here, so it gets kind of hard for me to, to see. So, Japanese versus English. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this story in a second. Um, let me just show you the actual uh, things first um here is number three again japanese versus english and uh by the way these things they don't come with with these things um i make those myself using different things that i buy on the on the internet so yeah don't expect yours to come with those things and there is number four uh, uh sorry wrong one where are you? There you are. Yeah, number four. Um, you can clearly see that the English version is a little bit bigger. Um, I think this is a standard size for mangas in Japan. Um, again, I don't know for sure, but I have multiple mangas and they are, they are all about this same size. Some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller. And here is number five. Yeah, number five. Uh, again, same cover, same back. They just, I don't know, they just flip things around a little bit. <laughs> but it's basically the same thing. Uh, number six. Oh, yes. Uh, number six here, number six there. Um, I don't know why they decided to move the, where are you, the number a little bit. Uh, the number is usually on the top right, but for like two or three of them, they decided to just move it to the left. I'll show you in a second. So this is, uh, where are you? Uh, number seven, where is number seven? No, that's number eight. 
Oh no. Where is number seven? Help. Hmm. So, apparently I don't have number seven either. Oh, wait. No, that's number 11. No, I don't have number seven either. Somehow, I've been under the impression that I do have everything in Japanese except for number, seven, for number 10, but apparently I don't have number 7 and 10. Somehow. Number 8, or is it my perception? Is it my low perception? Anyway, this is number 7. Let's move on. Number 8. Where are you, number 8? Number 8, right there. Uh... Number eight is on the left now. Oh goodness. <laughs> now everything's gonna be on the left, isn't it? <laughs> uh yeah, again, they reuse the same art, they just flip a few things around. Number nine. Uh another th weird thing that I've noticed. This is a, there's a lot of uh you'll see. Uh a lot of uh yeah, it's not in this one. I'll show you in a second. Uh Number 10, number 10, again, this is, I only have this one in English, I don't have the Japanese version of this. Number 11, um, again, same art, just a little bit scaled up, and uh, I guess they just reused the same image. Number 12, and uh, for some reason, they decided... Why make it 12 if it can be 13, right? Uh, yeah, this thing's let's keep on um, racing. Uh, so, I don't even know where to begin about this. Um, this story, it kind of... No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, it follows the basis of the... Uh, of the video game and it kind of follows the basis of the um, of the anime but it really is its own thing um, in fact I, I the very first volume is really weird uh, when if you start reading this you will notice that um, you probably are not gonna like it because it's so different um, so different from the games and so different from the anime um, oh yeah right here you see there's fangs and here so that that's one thing I noticed that they the, the characters usually have this weird fang thingies uh, almost all of the time well that uh, that's quite obvious but that's quite intentional too um that this fang shape i don't know i don't know if it's intentional or if it uh, if it's an artistic decision if it's supposed to mean something um there are other oh, oh, right there right there and there are other places where they are extremely obvious uh after a while it, it, it you just can't ignore it it just keeps showing up and over and over again it's like why what why do they why do they need to do this right now actually well i, I may need to show you a bigger one but yeah, so about the story, um, in the beginning, uh, they kind of try to make, they try to make it look like it's this badass story and that Mega Man is this badass hero, there are the fangs again, and uh, that he's merciless and everything is extreme, and uh, yeah, it, it's just not the Mega Man that you're used to, um, there's the fang again. Um, yeah, but again, if, if you start reading this, you may not actually appreciate it. I, I honestly almost stopped reading it because, again, this is not, uh, here are the fangs again. Uh, this is not the, the Mega Man that I, that I recognized. Um, but I gave it a chance because, um, I mean, 13, uh, 13 volumes, there's probably a reason and there are the fangs again. Here are more banks and la fangs, and Lan is on jail, apparently. Again, they're trying to make it look extreme. <laughs> uh, but as it went on, um, they decided to change that. Let me just jump to a random episode. Number nine. Uh, 
it, it became a little, a lot more lighthearted and they went uh, for goofy jokes and it, it was still very action oriented, as you can see. Uh, but, well, this is probably the worst uh, episode uh, to try to explain that. But yeah, they started adding goofy jokes and Mega Man was a lot more uh, the Mega Man that you recognize and the story was a little more like in the game. So basically this whole thing actually uh, tells the same story. Imagine that this is just uh, the story of one game from beginning to end, where at the beginning there is just, you know, um, battles and things like that, battle network and... Uh, you fight on the internet and all of that. Um, and as it progresses, you investigate, uh, well, Lan investigates crimes and you have to go to the undernet and it, it, it follows the same pattern as the games. Um, but it's, it is its own original story. Um, one thing that you may notice here, assuming the camera is actually focusing, uh, some of them have the number right here and other ones have the big number like this. That's because there was a rerun of this manga. Uh, it was originally published in 2004 and then republished, if I recall correctly, 2008. Let's find out. Uh, move aside. Uh, let's find out. Um, volume 1. And uh, hang on. Yes. Uh... First printing, April 2004. Uh, can you actually see? Uh, let me move this over here. April 2004 and reprinted 2008. So the ones that have these big numbers are printed in 2008. And these ones were actually the original run, which was printed first on... Uh, the, 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 I'm guessing it's got to be somewhere in here. Yeah, it was printed in, uh, in 2004. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's the only reason why I have a complete collection of this manga, because um, because of the reruns made it available to me. I wish I had all of the original versions and the reruns, but, well, you know, uh, I do what I can. Uh, speaking of reruns... Let me... In 2000... In 2016, there was a rerun of the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Um. One interesting thing you probably already noticed, I only have eight volumes. Uh, this is number one and this is number eight. I only have eight volumes, but actually there are only eight volumes. And um, the reason for that is because these uh, ones, each one of these contains more than one episode. Some of them contain two episodes, but I'm a little bit lost as to exactly um, what is contained and what isn't contained. Because, for example, uh, this is episode one and two or something like that. So, uh, lost. So, for example, this one here. Uh, begins, episode one, begins like, well, first of all, the cover art is the same as this, and tells the same story, as you can kinda not really tell. Uh, where is this? Bloody hell. Sorry, this is not the right thing. There you go. So, same story. Um, however, if you keep going over over this one, I already have a marker here. So if you keep going over here, you will eventually get to this part on the rerun, which corresponds... One second, please. So if you look at episode 2 on the original run, you'll see that it begins like with this fish and whatnot, and goes into... Uh, Neto holding his official net battle battler thingy with his fangs. And if you look at the... Uh, this is still episode one. Uh, if you open this up. Again, I have a marker here. It opens with the fish. And then it continues with um, Lan getting his official net battler nonsense with fangs. 
But if you look at the very end, I, I have not followed this page by page, but if you look at the very end, um, it ends with Lang. I remember, I, I remember seeing this somewhere in the original run, but if you look at the original run, um, there is nothing like that at the end of this. So this ends in, I don't know, they were doing something goofy with uh, um, Masa-san. And uh, yeah, this looks nothing like that. Again, I have not followed this page by page, so I don't know exactly why they diverge. My understanding is that these things have the whole story that was told on the original run. Plus a few other things that were not available back in the time. So I'm just going to show you all of them very quickly. So that you can take a look at the covers and the back covers. So this is issue number one. Here, here is issue number two. And from the back. Um, you can clearly see that the art is not the same as the original run. But you can get the original art, the art from the original run inside these things. Um, number three. Number four. Number five. And again, I'm not going to be showing every single one of them. Sorry, I'm not going to be showing the insides of every single one of them. Uh, this one is falling apart. This is number six. Number seven. Uh, this is a little bit thicker than the other ones, by the way. And so is number eight. So another thing that's very common in this series is that the characters uh, keep saying jerk. <laughs> Stop jerking me around and you're jerking me and things like that. Let me see if I can find you one of those. Uh, and also, yeah, look at this. Uh, everybody looks like a sexy college uh, girl. Like this is supposed to be a 10 year old girl. Uh, I don't buy that. <laughs> Um, if I had Lance's mom, I could show you that she also looks like a sexy college girl. They basically, every, every character basically looks like a college girl and they have these weird college girl eyes and yeah, everybody's a college girl in this, in this manga. Um, and they keep saying jerk this and jerking that. Uh, give me a second. I'll find it. Okay, so after about half an hour of looking around, I finally found it. So I placed some markers here. Uh, here's a clear example where Lan says, don't jerk me around. <laughs> um, yeah, don't do that. And here's another marker where he says, Mega Man, you stupid jerk. No. No, 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 no. You you don't call Mega Man a stupid jerk, okay? Uh, but yeah, so examples like this, there are plenty all over the the story. Um, they just keep saying jerk this and don't jerk that and so on and so forth. And uh, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed me messing around my collection so that you can actually look at it and if you did uh give me a like share comment and all that good stuff and thank you very much and goodbye